And a South African corruption inquiry says it has referred former President Jacob Zuma and current Mineral Resources Minister Gwede Mantashe for investigation by law enforcement with a view to establishing potential graft charges. The inquiry was established in 2018 to examine allegations of high-level graft during Zuma's nine years in power from 2009 and is publishing its findings after more than three years of investigations. Its latest report focuses on corruption and fraud related to privately owned services company Bosasa, now in voluntary liquidation after banks closed its account amid graft allegations. Zuma has refused to cooperate with the inquiry, leading to his imprisonment last July for contempt of court. He was placed on medical parole in September before being ordered back to jail by the High Court, a decision he is appealing. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.